well, the numbers speak for themselves. While Odell was at St. Mary's, he averaged uh, over 16 points a game in his two years there. Um, the 40 points that he scored against Pepperdine still ranks second in St. Mary's basketball history. And he was voted into the St. Mary's All-Century uh, basketball team. So I believe Odell's uh, basketball legacy is both profound and secure. Well, Odell was cat quick. Um, he had great intelligence on the court. He was, a, he was a basketball scholar. He knew the game. And I think that carried over, of course, into his later years when he became an educator. Odell is, uh, was and is beloved off the court as much as he was admired uh, on the basketball court. He, he went on after graduation to teach and to coach. He came back to St. Mary's as the dean uh, of student affairs, um, leading uh, young uh, men on the right path during some very turbulent times in the 60s and 70s. Uh, he went on um, to have an 18-year, illustrious 18-year uh, career as the president of Laney College. Odell is one of the kindest and most modest men I've ever met who have achieved as much as he has. He's not a man with a big ego, but he's a man who has done big things. On behalf of St. Mary's College, it's my pleasure to induct Odell Johnson into the West Coast Conference 2015 Hall of Honors class. Congratulations, Odell. Wow, this is, uh, this is tremendous. Thank you all for coming. I am deeply honored and surprised to have been selected to be inducted into the Hall of Honor. Wow. I want to thank our college president, Dr. Donahue, athletic director, Mark Orr, our outstanding basketball coach, Randy Bennett, the assistant AD, Stacy Hamaguchi, and all the others involved in the selection process. A special thanks to Isabella Ignacio for all the help she gave us in planning this event. It was 60 years ago, 1955, when I transferred from Fresno City College to St. Mary's. I was not aware they actually kept records that go back that far. <laughs> when recruited by the college, I knew very little about St. Mary's. But as visits to Fresno from St. Mary's alum, Mr. John Henning, and the assistant basketball coach, Bob Hagler, who met with my parents and me, they convinced us that St. Mary's would be the perfect school for me. By the way, as it turned out, it actually was. It was the right college and a great basketball conference. I had the opportunity to play with some of the, and compete against some of the greatest basketball players in the school's history. Guys like Mike Wadsworth, Bill Sanchez, Mike Farmer, John Thomas, who became a 49er great later, Casey Jones, Hal Perry, Bill Russell, and Elgin Baylor. Hell, I had to guard Elgin and Casey. That was the tough assignment. What a terrific conference we had. And one of our teams, USF, won two consecutive National uh, Association championships in a row during that time. I am thankful for the exemplary professors I had, most of whom were Christian brothers back then. They were encouraging, supportive, determined, that all of us would graduate. Upon graduation, they also helped us secure jobs. I couldn't believe it, it was amazing. The brothers actually had a choice of jobs for me to choose between. My choice was to accept a position as mathematics instructor and basketball coach at Sawaki Memorial High School in Fresno. By the way, I took over the basketball coaching responsibilities from Jerry Tarkanian, a legend in his own right and beloved here in Las Vegas. During my last year at St. Mary's as a student, I served as student body vice president. 
Ten years later, President Brother Michael Quinn hired me as Dean of Students at St. Mary's College from 1968 through 1972. I'm cur currently serving on the Board of Regents at St. Mary's College and this is my fourth year. I ended my career as a professional as president of Laney College after 18 years. My life has actually been a fairy tale dream. My wife of almost 57 years is here. My son flew in from New Jersey. My grandson, other family members and friends. It doesn't get much better than that. I want to congratulate all of the other inductees and special thanks to the West Coast Conference for sponsoring this wonderful event. Thank you, thank you.